So in this example, again, I think what will help the most to understand these problems is to understand, unless the directions are different, to understand what we're trying to do. When we're simplifying, we're trying to simplify this, unless the directions, again, are different. We're trying to simplify this to one single <coughs> trigonometric function or one single number or variable. Or not variable, but quantity of b, space of b. So you guys can see I have two trigonometric functions here, right? There's really nothing I can do to apply them. I can't really multiply them any further than what they are. However, the next step would say use the identities. So there's a lot of different ways you can rewrite cosine. You could rewrite cosine as 1 over sine, correct? You could write tangent as 1 over cotangent. So we could write this as 1 over cotangent of x times cosine of x. That doesn't really do anything, though, does it? You could do tangent of x times 1 over secant of x. That doesn't really do anything, right? Do you guys agree with me? However, so you can use all these different identities. Not just because you use an identity doesn't mean it's going to be the right one. However, with practice, you start to be able to say, oh, why don't I convert my tangent to sine of x over cosine of x? Because then when I multiply that by cosine of x over 1, I can apply the division property and quickly simplify those to sine of x. Done. Okay. So yes, I know there's other ways to use your identities. But just because it, it's not like they're wrong, it's just they're not going to give you the correct answer in the quickest way. So with practice, as you guys keep on doing all of these problems and you practice through these problems, you'll start getting those shortcuts.